Hi, welcome. If it is your first time of stopping by or coming across my YouTube channel, you are highly welcome. I appreciate each and every one of you who always tune back to watch my program. May God Almighty bless you. You are free to leave your comment constructively. Like you know, I present to you information across the globe, especially Nigerian to be precise. And today, I present to you another exciting video which we are going to watch together now let's watch this video together then come to my comment section and tell me what you think about the video you are free to criticize but constructively as we watch the video together come to see any police checkpoint in Biafra land if you come out you will die i don't want to see any police checkpoint anywhere there are two things i don't want to see you nor hear about no checkpoint by the police or the army and no full army in our land as terrorists they can live in the township if they want, but not in our forest. They cannot be there. They have opened the gates of hell. I, I cannot guarantee you that any elections we hold anymore in our land. Can you mind any area? I don't know what. I don't know if we are suffering from politicians. I don't know. I don't know where this disease is coming from. We must cure it. I want our enemies to understand how fanatical we are about this quest to liberate Biafra from the shackles of the iniquitous zoological republic. You need to understand this very clearly. We are not going to stop. We are not going back. I don't care what you say. It doesn't matter what your report says. I don't care the countries putting it together. It is irrelevant to me. What matters is the liberation of Biafra. Therefore, if Katrina Lang has any brain in her skull, if all those idiots encouraging the zoo to continue, if they have any brain in their skull, they will say, let us allow Biafra to go with their trouble because I can assure you, Shinekenna Rumonya Kebe, as night follows day, that Biafra must come or we all die in the process. Do you know why? Because what we are looking for is what belongs to us. I am asking for something that I had before the white man came. White man is not God. He's not God. God is in heaven. I assure you, God Almighty is in heaven and his will must be done upon our lives. They are not God. Nobody can create a country for me. I decide where I want to belong to. The people must decide if Nigeria is their country or not. Not a white man and a white woman. All this idiot suffering from inferiority complex. Shame on all of you. You are foolish useless black people because of your stupidity that is why africa is being treated the way it is it is today like a trash can more or less as trump said a shithole a white man has no business creating country for me because i am the can as a black man i cannot go to europe to create a country for them why then should I allow a white man and a white, a drunken white woman to come to my land to create country for me? If you accept it, you are inferior. If you accept it, you are a nigger. If you accept it, you are stupid. In fact, you are a, a gorilla is better than you. A monkey is better than you. That is why they insult you abroad. That is why they kill you because they look at you as the embodiment of stupidity. Let them come to defend one Nigeria with the 200 soldiers. What they are telling us is that they don't have any soldiers. If they can bring only paltry 200 men, maybe from the Advanced Tactical Air Command in, in, in Makrodi, or maybe from Kaduna or from Bauchi, that goes to show that Nigeria has no army. And because they, you know that they say whom the gods want to destroy, Heaven will first of all make them mad because they are foolish. Let me tell you why I know that God will destroy Nigeria beyond recognition. I will tell you why. Because they are full of the danger with their stupid by nature. Very hopeless, they are unthinking. The people thinking for them are the British. The reason why I told my father I must go to England to study is because I want to understand that thing, the, that juju they did on all of us, that made us so foolish. Now we know the medicine and we are applying it. 
You see, the Fulani will come because they are very foolish. They will deploy. They, they don't have the army to deploy to the south because they know that once they leave the north, believe you me, the, their own homegrown bandits will destroy them. They know it. They can see what is happening in Yemen, in Syria, in Afghanistan. We are the same Janjaweed mentality obtains, backed up by a very misleading interpretation of the Quran. That is the reason why they are sending only 200. If they had an army to send, they would send a battalion. They will send a full brigade. But they do not have the soldiers to fight. This is one thing that Nigerians don't understand. They do not have it. We outnumber them by over 100,000 to one. That is something people don't understand. We outnumber these people. They don't have the soldiers to keep everybody quiet at the same time. That is why they employ the media, they employ the fulefus, they employ the saboteurs to drive fear into you. They do not have the army to fight. Nigeria doesn't have the army. That is why they are begging Chad. Ordinary Chad, one of the poorest countries in the world. That is why they are begging Niger, one of the poorest countries in the world, to come and help them to fight. A so-called giant. That tells you they do not have soldiers to fight. We are the ones holding ourselves. The people now holding us down are those from the middle belt. If the Middle Belt people have decided to be full and slaves, they must come out and say it. We are conquered people from now onwards, we are slaves. Oduduwa have indicated their willingness to be free. So have we, their friends. Middle Belt are the people now saying they are happy to be full and slaves. If they are happy to be full and slaves, then let them come out and tell us. Right now, immediately. We outnumber their army. You know, sometimes in war, you need to think. When your enemy makes a move, you calculate it, you analyze it, you, you, it tells you a lot that they may not be willing to come out to say in the open. For them to send only 200 Bushmeat down to Biafra land means that they don't have any army. We are the only people they are afraid of with all due respect to everybody else. The only people that the zoo are afraid of are Biafran people. No other person. Others can go out and protest oh, and do rally and do it. They won't talk. They know that the only people capable of forcing through this agenda of dissemblement of the Zoological Republic are we Biafrans. They know it very well. They advise us, they tell them every day how determined we are. So we are the ones holding ourselves. So what I mean by that is that the, the Fulefus. Did you talking about our state? Talking about uh, Nigeria? Talking about football? You people are fools. Fulani is playing with you. I asked you a while ago. Nigeria has a female soccer team. Yes, Nigeria female soccer team. Do you see any Muslim girl there playing for Nigeria? But it's Nigeria soccer team. They want to cover themselves. You know, when we teach you about value system and the reason why or the need why people who are willing or able to come together to form a nation must have a common value system, you don't understand it because they don't teach you these things in universities. You don't, you know, you go to school, you come out even more moronic than you went to school in the first place. You have Nigeria female football team. Is there any Muslim girl they are playing for you? But it's Nigeria. And they're the ones benefiting from the zoo more than anybody else. Now, if those people they are sending to come down to our land, those 200 soldiers are there to kill their own fellow Fulani heads, but we know they cannot. Have you ever asked yourself, why is it that we know the forest where Fulani heads men are camped? We know when they are coming to villages to attack. Have you ever asked yourself, a, a, a Fulani heads men of over, say, 80 people, going into a village to murder people, they are retreating. There are police stations along the way. Have you ever asked, have you, you, you zoo people, zoo animals, Nigerians, have you ever asked yourself, why is it difficult for the police or the army to give chase after Fulani bandits and killers, after they must have sacked the village? Why are they not doing it? 
I don't, you know, you know, sometimes I, they said God made man in his own image. In other words, they given us the ability to be able to reason and to discern. And I'm asking you this evening for those who are listening to me, I'm asking you, have you ever actually sat down? It's not difficult. It, it, I'm not asking you to do a very difficult analysis of a complex situation or an equation. First, ask yourself, this village has been attacked by Fulani, that village, why don't they deploy helicopter gunships to go and look for them? Why is it, have you ever heard before that after an attack on a village by Fulani headsmen that the police gave them chase or the army? Have you ever heard that before? Simple question. I'm putting this question to all the chief justices and judges of um, all the Biafran states. Those of you holding Biafrans, sending them to Abuja to be killed by a Fulani Janjaweed. I'm asking you a simple question. All these years you've been hearing about Fulani headsmen attack in this village, in that village, I am asking you, every time I am asking you, all the time, every time you hear about all these things, have you ever heard that 82 Division Enugu are now chasing those headsmen that came to Zowan and killed people. Have you ever heard after the massacre in Bende that somehow or half young mobilized or all beings mobilized? Have you ever heard that the headsmen are being pursued by the army or the police after an attack on a village? It's a simple question. Any day you can get your brain around this. Any day, believe you me, any day you sit down and you think about what I've just said now. You hate Nigeria more than I hate Nigeria. A land brimming with hypocrites. Unrepentant hypocrites. Unrepentant. Hi, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time or first day of coming across my YouTube channel or seeing my face, you are highly welcome. Please be comments to my next channel. My name is Linda Chukwezi. It's coming. I 